I'm Cathy. I'm doing a level two accounting apprenticeship with Fairhead Bradford in Great Yarmouth. When I was 13, obviously I was in a car crash um, and from that point I wanted to do health and social care um, and do nursing. But then when I was about 17, almost 18, I decided um, to drop out of my college course because um, physically I could, was unable to do it. Then I started working with my dad once a week, um, helping him do the filing for all his accounts. And then one day he asked me to just do a very small set of accounts for a very small company. And I balanced my first bank account, I had to find 50p. And once I found the 50p, I realised I wanted to go into accounting for my apprenticeship. Due to my um, injuries from my car crash, I struggle sometimes to walk. Um, I use crutches occasionally. Um, I sometimes struggle to go to work, um, to get to go anywhere. And I decided to go with it after I had a fall um, in November of 23. Um, Andy helped me quite a lot, uh, or helped me quite a lot with my mental health because uh, I was stuck in my house from November after my fall all the way until about April because uh, I was unable to walk, I was stuck on crutches um, because we're pretty sure I fractured my hip in this fall I had um, and he helped me by just coming and chatting to me once a week um, just helped me make sure I didn't get into a very low point he um, um, he would just talk to me he helped me quite a lot with my mental health and I don't think I would be as mentally okay right now if it weren't for Andy's help. Um, he helped me kind of like a barrier of my own like mental state if that makes sense. Like I was very much in my head, I was struggling to do anything, I had very very low motivation. Um, there were some days I couldn't get out of bed, um, there was weeks where I wouldn't look after myself because I just I didn't really see a point um, because I was so low and I was so down. Uh, because I just couldn't do what I wanted to and uh, and I'm a very independent person and it was quite difficult from being independent and having a fall and having to rely on my mum to help me get out of bed some days so uh, he helped me get out of my own head and he helped me see that I can actually get back to how um, I am it just might take a little work um, but he, he just really helped me try and get out of my own head and that I really appreciate it for that. Um, just the company of having Andy there each week. It was um, it was nice to know that when I didn't have anything to do apart from getting better, I had that one day or that one set time every single week where I'd have someone come over. It was just nice to have a, someone there. For me. But well, I started work around Norfolk in January, February time this year, and um, at that point I was on crutches, was not able to walk, was not able to drive. Um, barely able to do things for myself, um, then I really managed to make myself a cup of tea, and that was about it. Um, and ever since then, Andy has helped me just to get out. Um, it started with little things of, he would just, be, uh, he would just motivate me to do things, that, even if that is, like I said, just getting ready, just so I can have a chat with someone for an hour each week. Um, and then since then I was like, right, um, I'm going to get better. And then when I first started getting back out, just going for two crutches to one crutch, he was uh, very supportive. Um, when I started doing very small drives in my driveway, just going backwards and forwards, even then he was very supportive. Um, and each step of the way he was there with me, uh, even the days where I just wasn't as good as I was last week, he was still very, very nice, very kind, and he was very understanding. I went back to work in April, a week before my birthday. Um, I started off doing 9 to 12, for five days a week. And then each week I'd increase it by half an hour. Um, and at the moment I'm currently on 9 to 3. And so I'm very slowly building it up so not to um, stress myself out. And my employer is very understanding in the fact that if I need a day off, I need a day off. It's not my fault. Um, when I first started going back to work um, and he was very proud of me then he'd always ask me how my work is and make sure it was all going okay, make sure that if there was anything that I needed to relay over he'd, he'd be there and be like right if you need me to relay something, very easy. Well, he, was just, he was very very supportive. Uh, my plan is to just continue working, hopefully um, start my apprenticeship again in September, which will be lovely. <laughs> 
um, and just try and get back to the swing of things. But just try and enjoy my life more. I would, yeah. Um, it has a lot of um, positive effect on me and my mental health and even somehow my physical health because each step of the way I was supported, I was encouraged and uh, I was never ever judged. Every, everything I did I would always get a bit of a sort of round of applause or a celebration.